Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Kirsten from Path to Summit LLC, a virtual project management firm that sets up PMOs, provides PM staffing and guidance, and builds out awesome project management software that's custom to organizational need. Today, we're going over how to use different views in monday.com. So let's jump in. Using different views in Monday is super easy and really helpful. We all understand information presented to us a little bit differently. And to be able to manipulate the same info visually can allow others to understand the info we're trying to convey. Let's use this new employee onboarding board as an example. In the main table, there's a list of tasks that need to be completed by the employee, divided up into groups. I myself love a good list of tasks. Others might not digest this information as quickly as I do because they're just not list people. This is where other views come into play. Let's click on the plus sign next to the main table tab to create a new view. Let's make a Kanban view and see tasks visually grouped by lanes and current status. Using this view, we can rearrange the lanes by dragging and dropping. I like it to be in chronological order myself. Each individual task is represented in a card within the status of lane. We can open up the card to get more information about the task. If we start working on the task, we can simply drag and drop it into the working status. This will also reflect on the main table view. We can add a timeline view by clicking the plus sign, saying more views, and clicking on the timeline option. The default is to group the tasks by person. So on the left, you can see the individuals that are assigned to tasks in the board. We have Kirsten, Kate, and Steve. The coloring of the tasks is currently by group or by section within Monday. Clicking on the ellipses and then choosing the gear settings icon, I'm gonna update the settings to show the coloring of the tasks by status. This helps me to understand the tasks coming up due as well as their status simultaneously, which is super helpful when managing work efforts for different projects. Over here on the settings column that is opened up, I am going to color by status. And now when we take a look, we know what has been done, what is stuck, who's working on it, all within this timeline. There you have it. Three different ways of viewing information within projects. Check out all the views and play around with what visualization helps you and your team members the most. Have questions? Comment below. We actually respond. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the Path to Summit channel for more project management tips, tricks, and software tutorials. 